Put your hands up. No. Put your dukes up. Whoa, no, whoa, put your dukes whoa, up. Whoa. Put them up. I was thinking of jokes. Put them up. I feel like if I put them, you're gonna hit me. Put them up. Promise not to hit me. Defend yourself. You promise not to hit Defend me. Defend yourself. Am I still on camera? I need this for evidence. <laughs> 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 What are you hitting me for? I'm fighting you for the video. Nice little breathing though, by the way. Yeah. Like nice, like a snake. I'm fighting you. you no, it's that, actually like you a UFC that, fighter. Call it like a viper strike? You no, viper strike? no, it's like a UFC fighter. You know, they're always like, unless you're Brian Battle. Yeah, right? exactly. What's he doing? Brian what does Brian Battle, Battle do? Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. And you think he's up. joking, and then he knocks people the fuck out. Brian Battle is a fucking beast, but if I never had to hear the hey sound again, I'm so stoked. It's like this video was made for me. Yeah, it's I like know. Tear Zoo made this yeah, video thinking of me. Yeah. Um, Don't be jealous, baby. Why? Because another man was thinking about me. You know, you shoot YouTube videos, right? Uh -huh. Like thousands of men think about you all the time. Simultaneously, even. It's kind of like the piss trough from the last video we talked about, but a thought. Collective why piss did you, thought. Why did you, why did <laughs> yeah. you do this? Think I'm jealous of that? Huh? You think I'm jealous of the piss trough? I just thought you'd be jealous thought? because his hair is better than yours. Ah! You fucking wish, Tear Zoo. <laughs> I would like to see that goddamn battle of the hairs. I know what your face looks like now. All right, here we go. The Snake Tear Let's get into it. It's like 23 minutes long, and we're going to do a ton of talking while it plays because we know virtually nothing about snakes. I know what I need to know, which is that they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Pe tearless wise, I'm thinking Python's going to be top tier. <gasps> Goddamn. Right? Pythons? Ding. Snakes are one of the most feared classes in the game. With a number of powerful builds I don't get and a vast why people array are so of uniquely of lethal abilities. Ugh. However, some yeah? of these strategies really? have clearly been more successful yeah? than others. Really? You don't so get in it? this video, which was sponsored by Curiosity. Have you Street, never seen Anaconda? The one with Ice Cube in it? No. Terrifying movie at that time. Huge snake, and everybody was like, "They're real. They're not even fake." I'm dead. But I was saying, but I was saying pythons, top tier, right? No, no way, dude. What do you mean, no way? What about pythons is cool, dude? Not. It's not about how cool they are. It's not a cool tier list. All right, give me what's your coolest snake? Vipers. Okay, thank you. Jesus. <laughs> we'll be going over the snake. I see list it. To see which pythons. builds rank pythons. highest. Pythons. But before we fix snake builds, Python. let's do an overview of the basic attributes and special abilities fish? the snake dead. faction has yeah. access to, as well as a quick rundown of the history of the snake faction. Titano Boa. So snakes are one of the newer factions in the game, joining the game's roster during the latter part of the Mesozoic expansion. They began as a niche offshoot of the lizard faction that was specifically adapted to burrowing gameplay. And in order to best min-max for the most efficient burrowing, this player base eventually opted to completely drop the legs attribute. This ended up being a far more successful gambit than anyone could have anticipated, as it not only granted these lizards better burrowing ability, but also opened up a bunch of other strategies to them. While the snake build first hit the scene during a metagame dominated by dinosaurs, they didn't become a huge threat in the meta until after the main dinosaur powerhouses Jesus were banned in a KT balance patch. During this chaotic post-banwave meta, Snake players experimented with some crazy builds, including the giant Titanoboa build. But while Titanoboa's giant size granted it short-term success, I think the strategies that the Snake player base went on to specialize in are even more effective. Fast forward to today's meta, and snakes are one of the most <laughs> It's the way the eyes are like kind of looking right into the camera, you know, like why are you watching like, me eat, bro? You're clearly bitten off more than you can chew. <laughs> I can handle like... it. Oh my god. Successful predator factions in the game, <laughs> owing this success to a handful of powerful, unique <laughs> abilities. Oh, excuse the you. The most obvious of these Ready. is slithering, the snake's unique mobility option that it gained in exchange for losing its legs. At first glance, this might seem extremely limiting, as snakes cannot jump and move more slowly than they would if they could run. And while those are significant limitations, the ability to slither does open up a lot of other options to snake mains. 
Rather than jumping over barriers, snakes can oftentimes find a way to slither through them. This gives snakes access to a lot of areas of the map that are normally much more difficult true. to access, yeah. and means things like dens, nests, and other player-constructed bases are often less oh effective God, at no! keeping snake players out. Not the babies! Dude, this is one of those things too when we see when snakes get in different enclosures and stuff. Yeah. It's like they don't understand what the top is. <laughs> They're just constantly all over like, bro, I don't get it. Why can't I just go places? There's a branch, I can climb it and go up. That's what I do. Which makes them one of the best Not classes the of spawn killing. He ate that shit fast Slytherin as hell. Slytherin also allows a comparatively large build to remain very close to the ground and benefit from the stealth bonus of even the shortest grass and foliage. Yep. Despite not having claws, snakes that. make for highly effective climbers, making it very difficult cool. to ever truly get out of reach of a snake. That's really cool. Still, as a rushdown option, oh, Slytherin tends to be too slow to reliably catch up to other players. So while snakes may not have the ability to chase you down, get they expect their movement kit to ensure <laughs> that no one is ever truly close, safe but... from them. And if you let your guard down, they'll be poised to oh, capitalize no! on that. A snake's basic strike is a little on the weak side for such a dangerous predator. Their bites can't deal that much damage on their own and are easily blocked by armor. It's for this reason that snakes tend to spec into various venom effects to infuse their bites with. Snake venom can have a variety of status effects, which we'll get into more as we progress through the tier list. But in general, Venom greatly oh no, increases the damage dying. potential a snake can deal with its bite. Yeah. Without this, many snakes would have no means of defense and would be Oop. completely helpless when caught out in the open. Up. Instead, Tear snakes are one of the most up. feared classes in the game. But which snakes should be feared the most? For yeah. that, let's get into the tier list. Let's do it! F tier! So, the lower tiers on this list contain members of the snake Garden faction snake. known as Colibrids. This is the largest group of snakes and contains almost every snake build in the game except for the ones you're actually afraid of. Garter snake. Told you. Starting at the very bottom of this group, we have the garter snake, one of the weakest snake builds in the game. Data miners are actually unsure whether or not this build is venomous, but if it is, it's some of the weakest venom in the game. <laughs> and with no other offensive abilities, the garter snake essentially only has favorable matchups against things far smaller than it, <laughs> like frogs and mice. Because they're so vulnerable, garter snake players love to attack aquatic targets like tadpoles and small fish. Okay. But they have no actual abilities that synergize with this playstyle, nor is it a particularly good swimmer, and therefore takes on considerable risk when they venture into the water. Oh, no! Garter snakes are also yeah. caught in an endless loop of wasting a ton of evolution points, evolving extreme toxin resistance to the poison of a specific newt build. This isn't very efficient, but I guess the garter snake needs to preserve its few favorable matches. I guess. <laughs> I might not be good at most things, but I'm good at this thing. It's literally the fucking koala bear of snakes. Like you shouldn't be eating that, but I can eat this. So I shall. So I will. Don't tell me what to do. Racer Next snake. in F tier, we have the racer snake. This is a snake build that put an above average number of evolution points into mobility, making it one of the fastest snake oh, builds in the moving, game. He is moving. That's not really saying a lot, given that snakes tend to have pretty poor movement speed. Like a fast but dwarf. But credit where credit is due, <laughs> this does give them a much better chance of dashing into cover when under attack. Unfortunately, as with a lot of mobility centric builds, this alone isn't enough to make Bitch. them competitively viable. Bitch. In fact, even with their above average slithering speed, they're usually still too slow to chase down many of their preferred attack targets. They're also worse climbers than most snakes, wow, making them one of why? the few snakes that can be countered oh. by simply climbing out of reach. In almost all cases, a snake's worst matchup is against birds, oh, no. and unfortunately for the racer snake, speed usually isn't much use against a oh, surprise oh, aerial God. attack. Their lack of practical applications for their signature abilities plants them firmly in F tier for me. Okay. I like to do like Next vine on the snakes. tier list, we have the vine snake. Yeah, I like vine snakes. Now, snake. there are many highly effective arboreal snake builds, and all things considered, the vine snake isn't terrible. It's got great stealth and is an excellent climber. But I mean, just look at this thing. With the lowest HP and defensive stats of any snake, really? this build okay. falls to oh, absolutely oh. any attack. Oh, no. Vine snakes entrust yeah, their survival to their above average stealth stat, but if that fails and the vine snake is discovered, they uh, resort to intimidation. Uh, 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 their intimidation tactic consists of sticking out their brightly colored tongue as a warning. Much like with the blue tongued skink, I don't consider this to be a particularly effective That's defensive not display. Good. Especially when this warning is backed by some of the weakest venom in the snake faction. Aww. Definitely not F tier due to its decent camouflage, but with nothing else going for it, it's stuck in D tier. Okay. Give him some fancy music Ooh. though. Next in D tier, we have the Tiger Keel. He looks cool, he's this killing snake it. This snake breaks the mold when it comes to toxic strategies in snakes. 
as rather than dumping all of its evolution points into Venom, the Keelback also allocates some of its resources into becoming poisonous. Look at that! Coming out the skin, bro! Ooh. I know! Meaning that they can inflict the toxic oh, status effect both when dealing damage and when taking You're not finna damage. eat me, nigga! This extra defensive ability definitely raises the Keelback's ranking compared to most colibrid snakes. However, overall, it's still not that great. Both their venom and their poison aren't all that potent, and it's possible that going all in on one of these strategies might have been the better play Got in the long run. Yeah. Mm. Still, the Keelback strategy does mitigate one of the Colorbred faction's main weaknesses, though, which is that they have a hard time using their venom defensively. Many Colorbreds, including the Vine Snake and Keelback, are venomous. This is useful because, I mean, how else would a snake barely thicker than a piece of spaghetti deal any damage, <laughs> right? The problem is, Colibrids lack the efficient venom delivery abilities found in the more dangerous oh, snake okay. yeah. Their fangs are located at the back of their mouths, Why? and these oh. fangs don't actually inject venom. The venom is just kind of part of their saliva, so to deal any damage with it, they need to really chew on their target for a good chunk of time. This is so fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Their design is so fucking stupid. Oh my God. They don't inject venom. Uh, as they're munching and bunching, yeah. Uh huh. Right. Are you feeling it yet? <laughs> like, is my wife killing me, or is this some kind of play I'm not used to? Okay. Now you have lipstick on you. Sorry. I've been bit. <laughs> I had good time to wash it off and stuff. Like, oh, I was just in the saliva. This is mad and <laughs> inefficient, dog. As you might expect. This makes individual strikes from most venomous colibrids quite harmless, as they don't contain Ow. much venom per hit, and they also can't really use their fangs no, unless they get a good. really solid bite in. So the Keelback's poison does sort of cover for this weakness, which is great. Kind of. that, it gets to the top of okay. the sword. However, a defensive poison is by no means the only way to mitigate the drawbacks of having rear fangs, as we'll see as we move out of the low tier and into mid tier. Boom slam! Uh. At the bottom of C tier, we have the Boom slam. The most venomous snake that- I'm sorry. It's a what? At the bottom of C tier, we have the boom slang. Uh. That shit said boom slang. Who's, who's right, babe? <laughs> I'm not saying that who's he's- right? I'm not saying that he's wrong. Right. I'm just saying that I'm not wrong either. Okay, fair enough. Fair the enough. The most venomous snake build from the Colibrid faction. Say it again. Why have winners when we could all win? <laughs> this snake kind of just does everything the vine snake does, but better. It's an excellent climber and That's has great rude. camouflage, You're more but successful also packs cousin. a devastating bite with extremely overpowered venom That's for its cool. tier in terms of potency. Ugh. And while it does have rear fangs, they're significantly larger than most. Oh colibers. my god! Yeah. But its best adaptation is that the Gwem snake Whoa. can open its mouth far wider than most Whoa. snakes, it's allowing like the it to deliver movie. a venom-infused bite in spite <gasps> of the unfavorable location <gasps> of its fangs. This allows the Bwem Slang to go toe to toe with high tier builds oh, no! like the Chameleon, as well as let it use its potent venom as a defensive threat rather than solely just a hunting. Oh, now, obviously, this is still far from ideal. Its venom is quite slow acting, making it not that useful when under attack. In my opinion, the Bwem Slang is the perfect example of a snake that really just needs one or two more buffs to be a high tier build, but in its current state, it just doesn't quite get there. Cool. Ah, At the snake. top of C tier, we have our last member of the Colibrid faction, so the King Snake. The King Snake is a no. large snake build with oh, no venom based no. abilities. Instead, <gasps> this is the first Constrictor build on our list. Constriction <gasps> is a type of grappling attack. Cool, huh? You fucked him up. Poor little mousey. He dead, bro. That fucked up. All his cousins. Dead, bro. Scrub tapped. <laughs> That, when properly executed, results in a guaranteed KO even on extremely large targets. Its main drawback is that this attack strategy is highly vulnerable to disruption. A Constrictor player has to be able to survive all counterattacks from its target doing, while attempting sir? to restrain it. So with that said, sir, you'd think it'd be very difficult work. to use this technique what against the venom doing? snake, right? Snakes are so flexible that it's very <gasps> difficult to grapple them without giving them an easy opportunity to bite back. That's where the King Snake's second ability, Venom Resistance, comes uh -huh. in. The ability to ignore all damage from a snake's venom makes the you King Snake's matchup against other snakes horribly one-sided. Huh. Just for good measure, King Snakes have high enough accuracy on their attacks Whoa. that they tend to go for the head, which negates a snake's counterattack potential even further. This is about where the King Snake's good supremacy stuff. ends, though, 
as the rest of its matchups are pretty standard for a snake, and with no venom of its own, it doesn't pose much of a threat to players it can't reliably immobilize in its coils. Luckily, there's a pretty simple change a constrictor build can make in order to increase the effectiveness uh, of its uh, constrictor becoming larger. Size. Camp getting bigger. Boas yeah. and pythons are the poster children for this type of strategy, being the only snake builds that can be Or as my husband would say, Python. Thanks. I wasn't gonna say it again. Boas yeah. and pythons are the poster children for this type of strategy, being the only yeah, snake right. that can be properly classified uh. as tanks. Yeah. While technically these are two different factions, they are functionally extremely similar and both contain specific examples of highly effective tanks. I think that is a Brazilian rainbow boa, maybe? Okay. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Yeah, it's pretty cute, but though. It's, really, it's shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep Thanks. that in my house. Although boas and pythons have no venom, Huge. their large teeth oh, and incredibly God. high physical stats make them more than a match for just about any player oh, that no. challenges them directly. With their thick scales and huge size, it's very difficult to defeat one of these in a Stop 1v1 touching fight. Me. Their ability to tank a lot of hits during a fight That's means a that even extremely yeah. powerful oh builds like the Tiger Ooh. are in for quite an uphill battle if they choose to stand and fight. I made a mistake. It was terrible. <laughs> well statted builds with high defense and DPS so like the Crocodilian factions are easily overcome with brute strength. Yeah. Once a boa or python. Yeah. yeah. That's a crocodile. Or was it an alligator? Well, that was a crocodile. Which one is it? I don't know. I don't know the difference, actually. Yeah, man. Like the crocodilian so factions big. are easily yeah, overcome with brute strength <laughs> once a boa or oh python uses God. their piercing fangs and powerful coils to trap them in an infinite grab combo. Damn. Drawbacks to the constriction strategy are vulnerability to third party attacks and the immense cost of failed kills. Uh, While uh, many constrictors yoink. have the size oh, no. required to challenge other large builds, going after too powerful a target can expend a disproportionate <gasps> oh, no. amount oh, no. of oh, HP no. oh, compared no. to other snakes. As large builds are often more conspicuous, the most successful constrictor players will make good use of the camouflage Okay. Herb. Anaconda. Out of the boa faction, the most powerful build is without a doubt the Jesus. anaconda. These are among the heaviest of any snake and by far the tankiest with an HP stat that renders most physical attacks almost negligible. While anacondas are significantly less viable on land due to their greatly reduced speed on terrestrial maps, their mobility, stealth, and camouflage what bonuses in the aquatic fuck? meta make them nearly unbeatable in that oh bind. Oh anacondas are capable God. of serious <laughs> speed when their buoyancy abilities can counteract the limitations of their enormous size, making nearly any unsuspecting oh! player who enters the water an easy target. Their eyes and noses are oriented towards the top of their faces, allowing them to expend minimal energy while camouflaged in aquatic vegetation, waiting for the perfect opportunity to carry out an ambush wow. attack. <gasps> Despite their formidable base stats and proficiency in highly specialized forms of gameplay, the fact that anacondas are only truly viable in aquatic environments limits their utility and places them squarely in B2. He's just playing with them. Python. The most competitive build in the Python faction is the Burmese oh, Python. While many That's snake builds so cool. are competitively viable only on certain maps that suit their specialized like abilities, Burmese pythons fit into more of a jack-of-all-trades okay. playstyle and have sufficient mobility in aquatic, terrestrial, and arboreal biomes, in spite of their large size. Burmese pythons are therefore excellent generalist Ooh, builds, yeah. and as seen with many other generalists, they have been causing serious disruption in servers that they weren't meant really? to be spawning in. Burmese pythons have totally destabilized the meta of the Everglades, <laughs> due mostly to the pythons' extremely yeah. one-sided matchup I against on non-social mammal builds, and a lack of the type of builds that normally keep the python player base in check. Now, thankfully, the current oh. top tier of the Everglades is quite capable oh. of defeating oh. or repelling oh. a python in oh. single combat, but because the alligator's dominance is restricted to yep, the aquatic zones, land. pythons essentially have complete control of the arboreal yeah. zone which has led to a drastic reduction in players running mammal builds like the rabbit, raccoon, fox, and bobcat. Really? While Burmese pythons come Good in the top stuff. of B tier due to their versatility, their low speed stat and lack of venom makes higher tier snakes much more viable choices for most okay. gameplay styles. All right, to the A tier. While some snake builds in lower tiers can use the venom skill, placement in A tier or higher rides almost exclusively on choosing to dump a majority of evolution points into maximizing venom efficiency okay. and delivery methods. Members of the Viper class Vipers! dominate the A tier. Among the most feared builds in the game, Vipers have a variety of special offensive and sensory skills he that help compensate mean. for their generally low defense <laughs> stats. Kind of... Their long, hollow fangs are placed at the front of their mouths and wow. can pierce most armor to deliver oh lethal my, doses oh, of venom. Oh my God. But one drawback to the flesh-destroying oh. hemotoxins used by oh. most builds in this group 
is that they can take a while to immobilize oh, players. No, poor baby. Most Viper builds also spec into the infrared heat sensing oh. ability, making them extremely powerful nocturnal ambush attackers and compensating for their lack of speed. Some members of the Viper faction tack on tail adaptations <gasps> too for access to oh. the intimidation oh. and luring abilities, but these perks are minor compared to their raw offensive potential. <laughs> Man, it's like a little bug. Yeah. Coming in at the bottom of A tier are Gaboon Vipers combining the highest defense stat of any Venomous build with head. near unbeatable stealth and an incredibly high strike like uh, horn Despite on his their nose. bulky appearance, yeah. Gaboon Vipers are almost invisible to spot during gameplay Hello. and are notorious for destroying unsuspecting players oh, due to the God. sheer volume of venom delivered during an attack despite their relatively underpowered effects. toxicity yeah, compared so awesome. to other Vipers. With the longest oh, fangs of any God. Viper, they can deal significant physical oh piercing God. damage in addition to any toxic effects caused by the venom. They conserve energy by remaining motionless when not in combat, and are rather difficult to provoke into unnecessary confrontation. While Gaboon Vipers are an excellent choice for ambushed base play in jungle maps, their lack of versatility and low aggression means they can be easily outmaneuvered by other oh, builds. Leave me alone, I just ate! <laughs> Damn! Cottonmouths rank slightly higher in A tier yeah, due to their badass. rare ability to use the skill set of the Viper class effectively in the aquatic realm. As the only Viper build in the game with aquatic adaptations, their potent venom and fishhook-shaped fangs make them incredibly effective at farming out fish and frog players That's for easy a big XP. Ass fish. This build specs into the caudal luring ability at lower levels, allowing them to quickly become competitive and shed this ability at higher levels in favor of better okay. camouflage. Mm. Cottonmouths are also relatively tanky and escape many combat situations by using intimidation know, really tactics. <laughs> their dominance in aquatic maps makes them able to occasionally Ew, so overcome bugs. more competitive generalist builds, but this is limited by biome and therefore not useful during the majority Got of it. gameplay. Rattlesnakes. Rounding so out cool. A tier is the Rattlesnake. Best suited for desert and forest biomes, these like snakes combine snakes. a variety of overpowered special abilities with well-allocated base the stats. Venom snakes are highly capable builds for yeah. ambush-based stealth play due to their ability to create thermal maps of other players in low visibility situations, which makes them one of the most effective counters for mammal players with the night vision ability. Instead of risking health by grappling with other players, rattlesnakes deliver a lethal amount of venom in one quick Dang. strike and then use their prey tracking ability oh, to find them after they've succumbed to toxic status effects. Yeah, one major advantage for rattlesnake players is the highly effective rattle intimidation yep. technique which allows them to scare off more powerful challengers without wasting venom or risking serious damage. Back up. Oof, man, I remember the first time I heard a rattlesnake out in Texas, man. Really? Oh my god. We went out for a walk and they were like, dude, there are rattlesnakes out here? Uh -huh. And it wasn't like 20 minutes later, they were like, you hear that shit? I'm like, yeah, I hear that shit. How do you not hear that? <laughs> like, where is it? They're like, does it matter? Just walk the opposite direction. The first time, like, I ever heard a rattlesnake, like, you hear about rattlesnakes, and they're like, oh, they rattle, mm -hmm. you know? And you're like, oh, okay, cool, like, whatever, you know? And I'm thinking it's like, like a little, like a little, like a little, yeah. little, little, little rattle, rattle, little, little shaky shake, right? No, yeah. that shit is loud, it's loud as hell. Yeah, it, it's obnoxious. Like, don't come over here. Damn, did you have to go, like, R-rated with it? Dang. Yeah, they're hardcore. You could have been like, please, give me some space. They don't say please. <laughs> Pardon me? You saw what happened to that rabbit? Sure did. <laughs> sure did. So that means cobras are up there, actually. Sorry, that's reminded me. Cobras may be up here. Cobra Kai. Yeah. While rattlesnakes sit at the top of yeah, A due to their relatively well-rounded stats among members of the Viper class, all Viper builds are oh still classified God. as glass cannons and tend to lose they out just against fight. opponents oh. with quicker acting venom, they superior speed, or high enough HP to tank their attacks. Snake builds placing an S tier overcome the weaknesses of other Venom users by maxing out Cobra! mobility stats and employing a variety of highly effective Venom delivery oh, techniques. Died. The most competitively yeah, yeah. viable snakes spec into heavily neurotoxic Venom, granting them yeah. the ability to inflict toxic damage and status effects far more quickly than lower tier Venom I'm users. Moving. While these buffs come at the cost of base defense, S tier snakes are only really <gasps> weak to the rare few players with Venom resistance oh, or effective oh, bite evasion oh, snakes. Crushed him. Coming up first in S tier is the Cobra build. With impressive base speed, these snakes can actively chase down other players rather than having to solely rely on an ambush strategy. Homie's like, please, let Variants me go. of the Cobra build can spec into moderate oh, aquatic and climbing proficiency, either. allowing for particularly well-rounded gameplay. Their fast-acting venom is mostly neurotoxic, oh but God. can have mixed toxic effects that melt through flesh and maximize the amount of pain inflicted. I'm sorry. Yep, he said that. I'm. 
<laughs> yeah, like a like putting your face on a heater. I'm sorry. Did you say melt through flesh? <laughs> Melting my face. Melt. That's dope. Nah, nah. Mm -mm. It's like sticking in your body mm -mm. a battery acid. Jesus. That's fuck. That's cool. Even elephant players, the <gasps> tankiest terrestrial build in the entire no game can be taken down by the ridiculous amount of sheer <laughs> toxic damage inflicted by a well-placed bite. While all Cobra builds have forward-placed fangs to maximize that, venom, venom delivery, come out. spitting Cobra players can use the only yep. range yeah. attack in the entire snake class by spraying venom up to two meters they, through holes meters? at the front of Don't their fangs. This too? move has high accuracy so. and can permanently blind other players when used effectively. Boom. In the, uh, that was Cobra quick builds too. advertise their power by using a unique hood modification intimidating the vast majority of players away from trying to challenge them in the first place. With enough offensive capabilities to take on an entire team of attackers at once, it's no question that Cobras are one of the most competitively viable builds in the Snake faction. Sea Snakes! Next in S tier yeah. are Sea Snakes. So cool! With full aquatic adaptations and special underwater sensory <gasps> skills, oh no! these builds can access hard to reach areas <laughs> to demolish even the most competitive fish players. Their fangs are relatively small compared to the closely related Cobra builds, but this works in conjunction oh with God. a special attack style. That eel? Their venom yes, is some of the is. deadliest in the game, but causes almost no pain, meaning that other players may not even know they've so been they hit die. before <laughs> fatal toxic damage sets in. While they are effective at using trickster tactics to take down enemies independently, Sea Snake players can also hunt in oh, teams cool. to capitalize really? on their own offensive no potential and compensate for their low individual Bonnie HP. Bonnie and Clyde. This build does have a bit of a high skill floor though, and inexperienced <laughs> players may struggle at playing around the sea oh, snake's yeah. defensive weaknesses. The sea snake build has a unique playstyle that can be hard to master, but with the ability to 1v1 eels, is, yeah, this build sits what at the top happening? for those who enjoy right, the challenge. Number one, the black black mamba, the final build on this tier list is the Black Mamba, black mamba. with incredibly overpowered base stats for their class, including ridiculous damage and speed. The Black Mamba is by far the most so competitive snake, fast. both in terrestrial and arboreal combat situations. Their speed isn't just with respect to movement. Ah! The lethal venom of the Black Mamba takes effect ah! extremely quickly ah! and can decimate no! enemies of any no, size with the high dose delivered in each bite. Black Mamba That's venom... Like me and, it's like me and Dark Souls. You're like, you're like talking to him. <laughs> He's dead, bro. Yeah. It's like, it's like me and Dark Souls. And I'm like, no, I still, you're like, you need to back up. You need to roll. I'm like, no, no, I still have some, I still have some HP. I have the Fuma Ultra Gage Spark. They can't stop me. I can still do it. <laughs> you can't do it. It's getting back down. <laughs> poses a variety of neurological status effects, including respiratory failure and vision loss, Jesus. making them one of the most feared opponents oh, in no. direct combat. Like, Why did you run up Mamba on me? builds have an extremely aggressive and fast-paced playstyle that leaves little room for counterplay, especially considering that their HP and defense stats are among the highest of any Venom users due to their large size. Just celebrate. While they don't have any unique moves to speak of, Black Mambas dominate by using strategies common among Snake players and do so to an exceptionally effective degree. Topping the charts with the highest DPS potential of any snake uh. and respectable defensive skills to boot, the Black Mamba is the undisputed ruler oh of snake builds. Snakes are by no means meta-defining, but it's still worth knowing how they stack up against Ooh. each other and what their main strengths and weaknesses are. <laughs> There's a lot more to snakes than just their general combat abilities, though. How do snakes deal with cold damage? They don't. How can snakes climb trees so easily without claws or cling pads? If you're really interested in knowing all the ins and outs of the snake build, I highly recommend checking out this video's sponsor, Curiosity, Curiosity Stream. Stream. They have this excellent documentary called The Secret Lives of Snakes, which answers uh, a lot yeah. of questions yeah, I didn't even know I had about out. snakes. Yeah. It goes into way more depth than I have time for here on YouTube. There's so many of them. And hey, speaking of videos that don't fit neatly into my YouTube channel, did you know that I have a Nebula series called Let's Play Outside? It's my take on Let's Play style content. I just released a new episode featuring the cheetah as my main but I also have some old episodes featuring a few dinosaurs, as well as one where I main the mantis. Ooh. Curiosity Stream is normally 20 bucks a year, Ooh. but I do have a special deal just for tiers of viewers. 26% off the I annual didn't member. I realize it was that inexpensive. Yeah, me either, actually. I have been considering it, but like, oh, I don't want another streaming service. But 20 bucks, when you say 20 bucks a year, okay. it makes you really feel like you, you need to stop doing that for like a good weekend. My love. What? We have so many streaming services. I mean, 20 bucks a year. Oh I can my, deal with oh it. Oh my god. Well, guys, 
the snake tier list even better at 3 a.m. It was so good. We had to have a little interruption to let the camera cool off. So now we've been up for even longer. Totally worth it. It was too hot. You know they can copyright claim us for singing oh, shit. lyrics of songs? Crazy, the world we live in. You guys are singing. They can't find us. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, me and my wife always enjoy a good tier zoo. Um, I did. I just redid the spider tier zoo because people, you know, wanted it for Halloween, which I didn't do on time because I didn't realize it was supposed to be scary. But, you know, the fact that he's still making content, I was just watching the fact that he was doing content back in... 2017 the content has changed so much over the years absolutely yeah. and like I just like the way that it's gotten from a cool YouTube series from uh -huh. something that you watch online was like dope and now it's become like its own like animal planet special yeah that we get to tune into once every couple of months I really enjoy it I have a great time yeah you know uh, I can't believe we forgot about the Black Mamba. I just I know, I know. I, I was know. like, oh, what's at the top? What's at the top of S tier? Well, it's because the only, only kind of snake I want to buy is a python. They just get so fucking big. They do. They get very large. That man told us he was going to be eating rabbits. Yeah. Yep. I'm not do. I'm not feed. I'm not feeding a bunny. Why do you give me? Why do you have one of my rubber bands? I've been looking for these. They're on my desk as fidget toys. We'll oh, see you guys Lord. in the next one. Thanks for coming through. We'll holler at you guys. Peace.